Hi, I'm Jeffrey Barrett. And I'm Megan Stetler. And we're here to tell you about an exciting new opportunity called the Utah Energy Workforce Scholarship Program. As our economy keeps growing, so does our demand for energy. Looking ahead, we know we'll need a skilled labor force to continue powering our bright future. So to give you a head start, the Governor's Office of Energy Development is partnering with Chevron to award four $5,000 scholarships to 11th and 12th grade students across Utah. So if you're looking to pursue science, math, technology, or engineering at a Utah-based college or university, this could be a great way to fuel your education. To be considered, we're asking students to produce a five-minute documentary exploring some aspect of Utah's energy workforce. It's our priority at the Governor's Office to advance all types of responsible energy and mineral development. So your film could feature anything from oil, gas, or coal, to wind, solar, or energy efficiency technologies. I'll give you more details later, but first, Megan has some tips and tricks for making your video stand above the rest. That's right, Jeff. Let's go behind the scenes now and talk about the top three ways to make your video look pro with just a smartphone. Now, your phone currently films at 30 or 60 frames per second. But there are a few applications out there that allow you to film at 24 frames per second. That's cinema style. Download one to enhance the look of your film. Now on to the tips. First, framing. Whether you're capturing an interview or footage, mount your phone onto a tripod to steady the shot. Use the rule of thirds, meaning frame your shot along either of these two grid lines, making sure your subject is looking into the open space. And don't forget, always film in landscape mode. Second, lighting. Look at where the light source is coming from. That could be the sun, a lamp, or a window. Position your subject so the light is shining on their face. If the brightest spot is behind them, they'll look shadowed. So simply turn them towards the light. And third, audio. When filming an interview, make sure you're in a quiet place because your mic can only capture quality sound just a few feet away. So get close ask compelling questions, and capture a clear story. Speaking of story, Jeff, what should be included? Your film should highlight one energy resource and explain how it works and how that resource helps drive Utah's economy. Using oil as an example, you might show how it's produced, transported, and then refined to be ready for the gas pump. To get the big picture, we want you to feature two to three energy companies within your area of focus, conduct two or more interviews per site, Aim for an operations manager and a worker, for example. And make sure that your film is educational and not a persuasive advocacy piece. Stay neutral. Well, I think that covers the basics. You can learn more about the Utah Energy Workforce Scholarship Program, including all the criteria, where to film, and a step-by-step -step production guide at utahenergyed.org. And don't forget to submit your video by the deadline. The winner will be announced in the new year. Have fun. And good luck.